Hello, my name is Diana Elder. I'm an accredited genealogist professional specializing in the Gulf South states. I became accredited in July of 2017 after setting a goal in 2015. I had attended a series of classes at the BYU Family History and Genealogy Conference on earning the, the credential and I had decided that this was something that I could do and that I wanted to do. Was it worth it? Absolutely. And in this presentation, I will share many of the benefits that have come to me and can come to you if you are interested in completing all the requirements for accreditation and becoming an accredited genealogist professional yourself. If you're considering pursuing accreditation, you really want to understand what the benefits of becoming an accredited genealogist professional can be for you. It is a challenging undertaking and it will take a considerable amount of your time, but it is worth it. And I'm going to show you some of the specific ways that will benefit you as a researcher or as a professional genealogist. The first benefit that I'd like to talk about is that of increased trust of clients. The general public may not know what you had to do to earn a credential, but a potential client will know that you had to do something to raise your skills to the level to receive that credential. They'll feel more inclined to trust you with their brick walls and to trust your research findings. I've worked on many client projects. Sometimes I've been able to make amazing discoveries, but at other times it's taken a great deal of effort only to have negative results and know where not to look. Having credential can give you the confidence you need to work on any type of project and to be able to give that information to your clients with confidence. The accredited genealogist credential has been recognized by the professional genealogical community for over 50 years. The need for formal credentialing was recognized as early as 1942. Milton Rubenkamp presented a paper at the second annual meeting of the American Society of Genealogists and stated that too many inexperienced persons are calling themselves professional genealogists when they lack proper training in the specialized type of work. It would be 20 years later before two separate bodies created credentials. In 1964, the first accredited genealogist researcher was awarded a credential by the Genealogical Society of Utah. In 1965, the Board for Certification of Genealogists awarded the first certified genealogist credential. The Genealogical Society of Utah continued awarding the accredited genealogist credentials for many years until it transferred its sponsorship of accreditation to the International Commission for the Accreditation of Professional Genealogists, better known as ICAP-GEN. That was the year 2000, and since then, several hundred genealogists have received the accredited genealogist credential from 1964 to present. A benefit for receiving your credential is that you'll be able to set yourself apart from your peers when advertising your services and conference programs and on various websites. You'll be able to use the accredited genealogist or AG post nominals after your name. Over 3,000 professional genealogists advertise on the Association of Professional Genealogists website, but only a small number have a credential listed after their name. This can set you apart as clients are looking for a professional genealogist. You'll be more appealing to consumers who seek expert genealogical assistance, since you'll have proven your research abilities and signed a code of ethics. Clients will be more willing to trust you with their research problems because they know you've had to demonstrate a high level of skill. Having signed a code of ethics, they'll be assured that your work will be honest and that they will receive appropriate value for the research time you spent on their project. You'll have greater marketability and networking opportunities in the genealogical community. Your name will be advertised on the ICAPGen website, bringing you clients and credibility. You can include information about yourself and your website that may be of interest to prospective clients. Potential clients on the ICAPGen website can search for you by name, 
your geographical location, or your research specialty. You'll be able to add a picture to personalize your page and include links to your website. You'll have a professional credential that will stand in most courts as a qualified expert witness in a state and kinship matters. Companies that do air or probate research often desire credentialed genealogist researchers as part of their team. This could pre prove to be a very good profession for you in the future. You may have more opportunities to present at conferences, seminars, and workshops throughout the nation. Teaching and lecturing about genealogy research is an excellent way to become known in the field of professional research, and having a credential could help you stand out from the large number of individuals submitting proposals. You'll gain recognition and respect from your peers and could find new clients through the exposure. When I decided to start the accreditation process, this was at the top of my list, having increased research skills. I knew that there was something I could do to become better, but I just wasn't sure how. The ICAP Gen Study Groups, webinars, and other study materials developed by experienced accredited genealogist professionals can greatly improve your research skills. Participating in the study group gave me the boost I needed to keep working towards accreditation. I received feedback on my work and realized I had the potential to grow into a professional genealogist. Doing the work to become an accredited genealogist professional helped me to become a better researcher, and it can help you also. Besides the study group, ICAPGen offers webinars such as this one to help you gain research skills. Even if you have no desire to become a professional genealogist, the accreditation process will give you more confidence in your expertise. You'll receive personalized feedback and suggestions for improvement along the way. Becoming proficient in order to pass the three levels of the accreditation process will give you confidence to tackle any difficult research project. It will show that you have received independent verification of your genealogical skills and knowledge. You might be wondering what skills you lack and the accreditation process will help you improve in all areas. If for any reason you don't pass a level, you'll be given a list of suggestions on how to improve and you'll have the opportunity to retake that level. So in summary, the benefits of accreditation, you'll have increased trust of clients, you'll have greater marketability and networking in the genealogical community, and perhaps foremost, you will have increased research skills. Colin Powell said, there are no secrets to success. It is the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. Don't let the fear of failure get in your way of seeking accreditation. With knowledge and practice, you can succeed and reap the benefits of becoming an accredited genealogist professional. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, you can reach me through the ICAPGen website at www.icapgen.org. Find an AG professional, Diana Elder. I wrote about my accreditation journey on my blog, familylocket.com, and if you're interested in learning my story all through the way as I work through the accreditation process, you can go to Family Locket and find more of my story there. Best of luck to you in your preparation to become an accredited genealogist professional.